All right, show one, show one. Call him like now. You how about some y'all share about some recock with dash? Devil us today, else the apostles a great millstone who will peace, blessings, and salutations goes to the whole for let that scared abroad. To you, brothers out there, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity, and to the aqua, the peace, this is that and listen and learning to you. I say, Sean Wong. Okay, coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit of power. Y'all about some y'all shy. Go in and try to find the faith and lesson. Y'all about some y'all shy through the spirit of Rakak with Dasha Press. And let's be able to find it straight to the point. All right, and as you can see, man, more layoffs continues. Okay, so these big tech companies are laying off people, man. Okay, so hey, and then. Hey, this is basically going to spread, man. All right? It ain't just going to be tech companies just laying off people. It's going to be all these jobs pretty soon that's going to be laying off people. Okay? As this petrol dollar begins to crash because, hey, this petrol dollar is on its way out of here. Okay? So, hey, things are heating up, man. All right? And as you know, Germany has just declared war on Russia. So, hey. We're in World War Three, man. World War Three has begun. So all of these prophecies and all these things are moving quickly and fast, man. And hey, the water how about me on shot, man. Okay? That's hey. Things are about to get really bad out here, man. You're about to see more layoffs, okay? More jobs layoffs. Not just in the tech companies, these big tech companies, all right. Okay, laying off people. You're about to see your mom and pop shop shops laying off people. Your jobs, like your Walmarts and grocery stores and restaurants, all of that, okay? So, hey, hey, so, look, times is getting hard, and it's about to get even rough out here, man. So, hey, continue to stay prayed up, continue to stay, hey, continue to fast, stay prayed up, because this, hey, it's about to get bumpy out here, okay? And as you see this title, it's from naturalnews.com, it says, IBM announced 3,900 layoff as big tech fi financial struggles continues, okay? So, let's read a little bit of this. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, the latest company to join, join the big tech massive mass firing trend is IBM, who has cut nearly 4,000 jobs after missing its annual cash target. This week, the computer company announced that it will be laying off 3,900 individuals. That's 3,900 individuals without no job, man. Without no paycheck. To put food on the table. Pay bills. So, hey. It's about to get rough out here. For a lot of these people out here, man. Okay? Which, am which amounts to around 1.5% of its workforce. These cuts are estimated to lead to a $300 million charge... During the January to March period. So, hey. You see? <laughs> it's getting rough out here, man. And it's about to get even rougher. Okay? As we get closer and closer to this damn devil's kingdom falling, man. Okay? It's going to get even rougher. Although it sounds like a very large cut, the fact that the company's shares fell fail, fail 2% following the news prompt some analysts to conclude that investors want to see bigger cost cut cost cutting measures investing.com senior analyst jesse cohen said it seems as if the market is disappointed by the size of its its announced job cuts on which like which only amount to 1.5 percent of its workforce a little bit more the company cash flow of twenty for twenty twenty two was nine point three billion dollars, which was well below its ten billion dollar target and steam from working capital needs that were higher than expected. In addition, their forecast annual revenue growth fell below the twelve percent that was reported last year. So <laughs> It's not looking good, man. Okay? Not looking good. Let me read these last two paragraphs and then I'm going to uh, get a few scriptures. So, things are not looking up, man. Okay? It's about to get even rough. Okay? IBM has seen its software and consulting business grow slowly, grow, grow slowing down, although 
there were some positive movements in cloud spending, which it hibern clouds revenue climbing two percent during the quarter that ended on December twenty sorry December thirty first. However, a spokesperson for IBM told CNN that the cuts were related to the reorganization of two businesses businesses units and were not an action based on 2022 performance or 2023 expectations. The effects unions, their TI infrastructure service business, Kendra, Kendra, and their healthcare analysts business, business, which is being acquired by an investment firm. Okay. Let's see. Let's read a little bit more. It says IBM joined other big tech names in laying off thousands of workers. The layoffs at IBM <coughs> are just the latest. <coughs> excuse me, sloppy. Sorry about that. The layoffs at IBM are just the latest in a series of similar announcements from major tech firms like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Early this earlier this week, the music streaming service Spotify announced that it will be calling six percent of staff, which amount to six hundred jobs. As it advertisers reduce their spending, the move will see them take on thirty eight million dollars in charges charges related to severance. Early this month, Microsoft began laying off 10,000 employees in the face of the current economic climate and slowing consumer demands. These layoffs impacted 5% of the company's global workforce and followed a previous round of layoffs that affected 1,000 employees across different ver- div- diversions divisions last year okay there you go uh let's see we already know about google all right google okay google done let cut off t- cut twelve thousand jobs and then of course amazon they cut eighteen thousand jobs man laying off eighteen thousand cut they so not cut eighteen thousand jobs and they laid off Eleven thousand employees, man. So, look, things are about to get tough out here. All right, then you got Lyft. All right, they lay off thirteen percent of its workforce. All right, which amounted to eight thousand workers, you know, being laid off. So, hey, it's about to get rough out here, man. Okay, it's about to get tough and rough out here, man. So, hey, <laughs> more job losses, man. All right, and IBM is is the latest, and there's going to be more, okay? There's going to be a whole lot more than this, all right? So without further ado, let's get a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to make this too long, okay? Let's go here. This is Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, all right? Modern-day Egypt is America, okay? This place is modern-day Egypt, America, Babylon the Great. So the work is being, hey, diminished, okay? The sound of the grinding is low, okay? Let's read, let's read this. Isaiah 19 and verse 15. Neither shall there be any word for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do, okay? So the workforce is being cut, man. And hey, the sound of the grinding is low, okay? That grinding is starting to cease. Okay, the work, and that grinding represents work. Okay, let's get this. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Why? Because they see no future in this place. And there is no future in Babylon, man. This place is falling, and it is falling fast, man. Okay, we're almost out of here. Okay. Verse 4, 
and the doors of the sh- and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And that grinding represents work. Okay? And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the doors of music shall be brought low. Okay? So you seeing this happening, man. Real time. Things are about to get even tough out here. Okay? This place is falling and it is falling fast, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain and so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So, hey, the sins of this place have reached into the ears of the Lord and Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And the Lord and Yahweh Shem Yahshai is bringing judgment upon this place, man. Okay? Heavy judgment is continuing to go out day in, day in and day out, man. Okay? You're about to have food shortages, famine, all right? Jacob's trouble is about to go full blown, okay? This devil's about to crash this old system and is about to put in his new digital system, okay? The CBDC, which is going to lead to the MOTB, the digital tag that's going to go underneath your skin that is spoken of in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18. So, and then, now you got World War Three. World War Three, hey, has begun. World War Three has basically begun, but it hasn't gone full-blown yet, okay? It's not going to go full-blown until, hey, this MOTB becomes mandatory. The mandatory of the micro CHIP which is spoken of in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18. And we are, hey, we're close to that, okay? And as a matter of fact, I'm going to end it here. Let's get another scripture, and then I'm going to end it. Um, Let's go to Daniel, okay? Because, hey, it's going to get so bad out here that Michael Ollie, the archangel, is going to have to step in to protect his elect, man, okay? So you see all the prophecies are being fulfilled. This is Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay? So hey, it's going to get real bad out here that Michael Ollie the Archangel is going to have to step in. Okay? To protect his elect. The days are being shortened. Let's get that and I'm going to end it with that scripture. Okay? Because, hey, Jacob's trouble is about to go full-blown real soon. Okay? Let's go here. Matthew chapter 24 and verse... Let's start up. Uh, let's see. Mm, yeah, let's start up with verse 20. Okay? Matthew chapter 24 and verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. Neither on the Sabbath day. Verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Verse 22. And as that those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. And the days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. So, hey, we are almost out of here. Okay? Time is short. This devil's got a short time. Esau, even the so-called white man, his time is running out. His days are being shortened. His kingdom is falling. Hey, we got next, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that fallen. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here. I just want to do a little quick lesson. Okay? Go in, I praise a quick lesson. was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who will well, peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for let that scatter abroad. So next time I say Shalom, Wam, Kwam Yahshua Ranga, Wild Papa Ball, DTA Abal Papa soon. We are almost out of here, brothers and sisters. Hang tight, man. Because hey, it's about to get bumpy, but we almost out of here. Shalom to next time. Shalom.